Building the verso. Place rubber mat on floor with disc pattern facing up. Position lower extraction chamber onto the rear profile of the mat, ensuring the open end is at the top. Position the service box behind the lower extraction chamber. Push the large plastic tube over the plastic tube on the lower extraction chamber to create a seal between the units. Position lower left-hand side panel within the left-hand slot of the lower extraction chamber over the two bolts and sitting on the mat. Position lower right-hand side panel within the right-hand slot of the lower extraction chamber over the two bolts and sitting on the mat. Position the upper extraction chamber onto the lower extraction chamber. Secure chambers to each other using the latch fasteners. Position upper left-hand side panel within the left-hand slot of the upper extraction chamber over the bolts ensuring the location pins meet. Repeat with upper right-hand side panel. Insert the plastic duct tube to the service box and rear of the upper extraction chamber firmly. Position roof section from the front, ensuring the rear slot meets the headed pin on the upper extraction chamber and resting the roof on the upper side panels. Insert the black 4mm tubing into the centre hole located in the top of the service box. Feed this tube through the hole located on the left-hand lower side panel. Insert the other end into the bottom of the spray gun handle. Place spray gun on the hook on the left-hand upper side panel. Insert power lead into the service box. Remove the bottle from the spray gun by unscrewing the cap. Decant bronzing mist into the bottle to three quarters full. Screw the bottle to the gun. Booth Care Maintenance, Verso. Saint-Tropez tanning booths incorporate state-of-the-art technology and cutting-edge design. The booth must be properly maintained to ensure the best possible results. Switching the booth on, Verso. Plug the RCD plug into your electrical socket. Ensure that the power switch on the socket is switched on. When power is present at the socket, the RCD plug shows a small red tag in the viewing window of the plug. If not present, slowly press the orange reset button on the plug until it clicks. Then, slowly release the button. The plug will then click and the red flag will pop up in the viewing window. Changing the filter, Verso. The two primary filters, the thin white and thin black should be changed after every gallon of mist is used. The large secondary filter should be changed every six months or as required if the unit is used frequently. Wear latex gloves while changing the filters. Remove both filters from the top chamber and lower chamber. Clean the front grille of the upper and lower chambers with a damp cloth. Ensure chambers are thoroughly dry before fitting new filters. Attach new white-black filter set to the face of the large black filter. Lay the chamber down on a flat surface with the grill face on the floor. Slide the filter insertion aid into the end of the chamber and ensure it rests on the back face of the grill. Now slide in the filter with the white-black filter set on the bottom, resting on insert tool. Filter should now slide in. Once fully inserted, remove the insertion aid. Daily Maintenance, Verso. Wipe the foot mat down with a damp cloth after each client. Also wipe down the front faces of the extraction chamber, the grill face and the side panels of the booth. Use water and a soft cloth to clean. Do not use detergents as these may cause damage. After treatments are completed, Empty the contents of the bronzing mist from the spray gun and suction cup and fit back to the spray gun. Clean the spray gun by wiping the front of the air cap. Fill the bottle with warm water and flush through to clean the gun. Booths need to be fully cleaned once a month. Check your manual for details. 
We recommend that your booth is professionally serviced annually.